what's impossible will they forget? Uh, my first few days in Uganda have been amazing. It's warm and I've just been playing netball with some of the local girls. It's, it's just mad. And uh, got to know the teachers a bit more than we usually do in the classroom. Second day we went visiting the champions, the chimpanzees. Uh, well, we're building a classroom for him, like an extension onto the classroom, giving him a, a third classroom which has been built by uh, Camps International. Um, it's going up quite quick, we only started today and we've got the uh, layout for the foundations dug out already. We've, we've come back, for, um, we came two years ago, West Hill School came and we brought 33 boys and um, pupils back this year to come back to the project that we were working on. We've come back to the same primary school where West Hill already helped construct a classroom and we've helped today to dig out the foundations for a third classroom. So it's just wonderful for our pupils to come and see the work that we've already contributed towards and to continue that work and to meet the local community and to try to improve the facilities that are here for them. It's absolutely uh, mind-blowing to be here to contribute to us. Boys are shell-shocked. Seeing the African culture first-hand like this is just an amazing opportunity for them. Many of these boys it will be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and I know that in four weeks' time we'll be taking back different boys, absolutely, because of the effect this experience will have on them. I am Magom Bosco. I am the head teacher of Sronko Demonstration School. Uh, as, we, as I said first, we are really grateful for Camps International for the work that they have done for us and the work that they are continuing to do. It's 2013, they built for us a class, a big class. Right now it is occupied by P2 pupils. And in 2014, 
uh, comes international again, came and then he plastered the class and then worked on the floor. Uh, then in 2015, comes international came in again and they built for us a mini hall. That mini hall has been uh, divided into two classes, that is P3 and uh, P7. Last year, that was 20, uh, 2016, Camps International again came, they plastered the class and then uh, they made the floor. We are really grateful for what they have done. Yeah, finally, I want to uh, appreciate uh, Camps International uh, for the spirit of love, in fact, this is real love, because uh, what they have done just shows the community that there are people who love for us, the Africans. Uh, please, want to, I want to finally say that the spirit of that love that God has put in your hearts so that you are inspired to come to Africa, especially this is Mbale now, uh, particularly the local demonstration. We appreciate you for that great work. Please, thank you. Thank you. We have a tropical rainforest zone, sometimes called um, mountain zone. Then we have bamboo mixed zone. As you go further, we have thinth zone and the moorland. As you, you move, the vegetation keeps on changing. We have um, primates like white and black colobus monkeys, blue-faced monkeys, baboons, red-tailed monkeys, and a variety of Amazing. It's just loads of open space. It feels like like first time watching a documentary. There's like there's wildlife everywhere, there's animals, birds. So and it's amazing to know that maybe 100 meters away is like a rhino. Yeah, 19 rhinos in whole of Uganda. And we're only doing simple work. It goes a long way though, and that's the main thing. Little things that go a long way. Right now we are weeding. We're getting rid of plants which shouldn't be in this area. It's like hindering the rhinos and other species of herbivores eating the grasses and other vegetation. So going out, looking at the animals, counting them, identifying what animals there are in the sanctuary. But it also means that we learn a bit about this different tropical environment with all kinds of animals. We'll be doing fence maintenance so looking at the fences, making sure they're all able to keep rhinos in and poachers out, which is very important. Going out with a notepad and pen and checking and seeing all the rhinos or the night trail that we're going to do, where we can see the nocturnal animals and fingers crossed the leopard.